This is the ANCOVA video on rationale. As a reminder, the analysis of covariance denotes a model with a continuous outcome, one or more continuous predictors, and one or more categorical predictors. In this module will deal with a special case where a single categorical variable is of interest, and we wish to control for a single continuous covariant. We'll call this the simple analysis of covariance model, or ANCOVA for short. Although we've created separate modules for continuous and categorical predictors, it's important to know they can both be covered within a single model. The unifying idea is that categorical predictors can be treated as if they were continuous once the appropriate indicator variables have been created. One implication of this idea is that some people call every model with a continuous outcome by the same name, usually either regression or ANCOVA. You should be aware of this terminology as you read the medical literature. As an example of a simple ANCOVA, consider a study designed to assess whether the type of rehabilitation facility affects functional status post-rehab. Post-rehabilitation functional status is the outcome. Type of rehabilitation facility is the primary predictor. Type of rehabilitation facility is categorically scaled, and one analytical option would be to perform a one-way analysis of variance with facility type as its single predictor. However, it's well known that where you land at the end of rehabilitation strongly depends on where you start. In other words, the outcome strongly depends on functional status pre-rehab. Accordingly, we also include pre-rehab functional status as a continuous predictor, sometimes called a covariant. And now we have a simple analysis of covariance model. The term covariant emphasizes that pre-rehabilitation functional status isn't the primary focus of the analysis. Instead, what we're doing is controlling for it in order to yield the best possible assessment of the impact of the type of rehab facility. The rationale for including pre-rehabilitation functional status is essentially the same as the rationale for controlling for a categorical predictor in the two-way analysis of variance. In particular, if the covariate is strongly associated with outcome, which is the case for function pre-rehabilitation, pre controlling for it increases the precision of the accompanying analysis. Moreover, if the covariate is unequally distributed between the groups, for example, if patients entering one facility tend to have different levels of functional status than patients entering another, including the covariate in the model is necessary in order to avoid bias. In the lingo of outcomes research, the analysis of covariance is necessary in order to control for differences in case mix. The analysis of covariance works best when suggesting for differences in case mix that are small to moderate rather than profound. In practice, this means there is sufficient overlap in the values of pre-rehabilitation functional status among the facilities. We'll follow up on this idea in another module.